Error Handling in Excel, the basic techniques. Hello and welcome to the Mr. Spreadsheet YouTube channel. The design of our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet is progressing nicely. However, some of our formulas are not working and are returning error messages. In this, the sixth video in our basic bookkeeping spreadsheet series, we will both analyze and correct the errors in our work. Error handling is a common occurrence when you are building spreadsheet applications. And in this video, we will introduce error handling techniques. If you want to catch up with the previous videos in this basic bookkeeping spreadsheet series, then here is a listing of the topics covered so far. In video one, we introduce the basic bookkeeping spreadsheet. In video two, we cover cash accounting. In video three, it's the chart of accounts. Video four covers bank balances. And in video five, we outline gross profit. This video, video number six, covers error handling. And the next video, the income statement. And finally, video number eight discusses and analyzes the final template. We do hope that you enjoy watching. As usual, we are giving away a free copy of this completed spreadsheet template. To get your free copy, all you have to do is to follow us on our Facebook page and then send us a direct message quoting free bookkeeping spreadsheet. We will then send you the download link together with a 100% discount code which you can then apply against the product's cost. Alternatively, you can download the product directly from the Mr. Spreadsheet website where it is priced at just $9.99. Just follow the link shown above and in the description section below. In the previous video, we have already created and categorized our chart of accounts and we have partly automated our bookkeeping spreadsheet to help us extract and calculate both our turnover and our cost of sales. All of the transactions we have recorded so far relate to either of these two categories. Let's now populate our bookkeeping spreadsheet with some business expenses and some sundry income data. I have populated row 7 through to row 14 with additional transaction data. Please pause the video whilst you copy in these values. We now need to automate the categorization process as before. Locate cell J6 and enter in the formula equals if open brackets AA6 equals 3 comma H6 comma inverted comma, inverted comma, and close the brackets. Now, copy this formula down to cell J25. Hopefully, this has picked up the one instance in our worksheet where we have the analysis type equal to sundry income. Now, navigate to cell L6 and enter in the formula equals if, open brackets, AA6 equals 4, comma, h6 comma inverted comma inverted comma and close the brackets once again copy this formula down to cell l25 hopefully all of the expenses populate correctly and return the values shown in the matching cells in column h finally for completeness Let's populate our bookkeeping worksheet with the other items categorization. In cell M6, enter in the formula equals if open brackets AA6 equals 5, comma H6, comma inverted comma inverted comma and close the brackets. And then copy this formula down to cell M25. Currently, we do not have any other items in our transactions, so all the cells will return a blank. 
If you are a little uncertain about the use of this if statement, then please watch our previous video in this series, which fully explains how this routine works. OK, as is often the case with spreadsheet formulas, you get error messages. This is because all or part of your formulas do not capture or have some component that is either missing or is simply not valid. Error handling is a vital part of programming using Excel. We will take a look at the errors we have generated and devise a method to eliminate them. Navigate to cell I20. Here we have the NA error message. In fact, we have the same error message for all cells in the last six lines of our bookkeeping spreadsheet. The reason is clear. If we examine the formula in cell I20, it says if the value in cell AA20 is a 1, then return the value located in cell H20. Let's take a look at the contents of cell AA20. So when we navigate to cell AA20, we see that this is also an error. So we will have to correct this error in order to correct our other error. Cell AA20 contains the formula equals VLOOKUP open brackets E20 comma analysis table comma 2 comma false and close the brackets. So let's examine this. Firstly, the VLOOKUP command is seeking the value in cell E20. Then, with this value, it then seeks to find the E20 value in the analysis table. And then, once it has found this, the formula should return the value in the second column of the analysis table. Navigate to cell E20, and we can see that this is a blank. We need this E20 cell to contain an analysis type. If there isn't, then that's probably why the error is being generated. No analysis type means that we cannot find a corresponding value in the analysis range. OK, we need a new formula or routine to solve this. There are many ways to do this, but I will break down the process into manageable steps. Logically, the first thing Excel needs to know is, does the cell contain an error? Specifically, is there an error message in cell AA20? Navigate to cell AB20 and enter in the formula equals is error open brackets point to cell AA20 and close the brackets. This will return the value of true if there is an error in AA20 or false if there is not. We already know that AA20 contains an error and now so does cell AB20. So we can create a new formula in cell AC20 that asks the question, is cell AB20 equals to true? And if so, then return a blank. And if not, then return the value in cell AA20. Let's try it out. In cell AC20, enter in the formula equals if, open brackets, AB20 equals true, comma, inverted comma, inverted comma, comma, AA20 and close the brackets. The formula looks at cell AB20 and if its value is true, Excel returns a blank. Now, you're asking, how does this solve the error way back in the original cell of I20? Here, the formula is equals if, open brackets, AA20 equals one, comma, H20, comma, inverted comma, inverted comma, and close brackets. If we slightly adjust this formula such that instead of looking at cell AA20, we look at cell AC20 instead. We know that cell AC20 does not contain an error. So our revised formula in cell I20 becomes equals if, open brackets, AC20 equals 1, comma, H20, comma, inverted comma, inverted comma, and close the brackets. 
That's it. Problem solved. Cell I20 is now error free and correctly displays a blank cell. All we now have to do is to adjust our worksheet formulas to accommodate this. We also recognize that this revised formula needs to be made in each cell in the entire range of I6 through to M25. Navigate down to cell AB20. This cell contains the is error formula. Copy this formula both up to cell AB6 and then down to cell AB25. Do the same for the new if command in cell AC20. Copy this up to cell AC6 and then down to cell AC25. Now go back to the bookkeeping spreadsheet. Navigate to I6 and change the formula from equals if open brackets AA6 equals 1, comma H6, comma inverted comma inverted comma close the brackets to now read equals if open brackets AC6 equals 1, comma H6, comma inverted comma inverted comma and close the brackets such that you are only replacing AA6 with AC6. Do the same in cell J6. Replace the AA6 with AC6. Do the same in cells K6, L6 and M6. Let's copy these formulas down to the entire spreadsheet. So highlight the range I6 through to M6 and copy and drag the formulas all the way down to the last line of our bookkeeping spreadsheet in Excel's row 25. Hopefully, all of the error messages will now disappear. Now that we have eliminated these errors, I want to explain how we can create an income statement using data extracted from our bookkeeping spreadsheet and then explain the importance of this in helping us to evaluate our business's financial performance. We do hope that you enjoyed watching and designing this bookkeeping spreadsheet video tutorial series with us. If you are new to the Mr Spreadsheet channel then please do subscribe and if you want to be notified of our future video releases then please be sure to select the notifications option as well. If you need further help or clarification of the various formulas, functions, commands and routines that we have used then please do use the comment sections below to leave your message. We will always reply to these. And finally, if you like this content, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you in the next video, details of which will follow shortly.